Welcome to an episode of Two Great Tastes, and as you'll see by the end of this video, they do taste great together. Today we'll be taking a look at Grease Pencil, a 2D drawing object within the 3D program Blender, and we will be comparing it to one of the more popular open source illustration software in the market known as Krita. Let's dive in. Let's take a closer look and try to get you acquainted with each of these wonderful tools. Grease Pencil is a 2D drawing object integrated into Blender's default package, meaning it does not require a separate extension. This object was primarily designed with the intention of integrating 2D animation into Blender. However, it has managed to also find a foothold in the concept art and illustration fields. Even though this object is designed to replicate 2D strokes and materials, it still behaves as a 3D object, allowing it to be modified, and it still responds to light sources and physics engines the same way a 3D object would. It's less like painting and more like sculpting, but in 2D, but it's also 3D. Its biggest appeal, however, is the manner in which it simplifies implementing 2D assets into a 3D background, which as an idea has been present since the 90s, admittedly in reverse, since back then they tried to integrate 3D into traditionally animated projects, but the point still stands. In terms of accessibility, it is available wherever Blender is available, including Windows, Mac OS and Linux, and will only cost you the time it takes to download and install. As for Krita, it's primarily marketed as an illustration software, but it is also capable of 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation and it also supports web design and comic book slash manga creation. Krita is available on all imaginable platforms, including mobiles and tablets, meaning things like Android and even Chrome OS, and it is open source as well. This program speaks for itself. It does exactly what it says in the package. It is here to fulfill all your needs when it comes to 2D related asset creation. We would say it makes for a great alternative for premium illustration software, but honestly, that would be an understatement since it can stand just fine on its own and in some regards, it can do even better. To elaborate on that, let's take a closer look. Let's see exactly how these two fellas behave. Don't be fooled by this 2D wannabe as Grease Pencil is in fact still considered to be a 3D object, meaning you can do with it exactly as you would with any other object in the program, including but not limited to modeling, simulation, rendering, and even compositing. When utilized, the tool generates what is referred to as strokes. These strokes are composed of points, which are essentially anchors that save the properties of our subject matter, including weight, texture, material, location, etc. And these points are linked through edit lines that are generally only visible in edit or wireframe modes. As for the workflow itself, there's multiple ways you can take advantage of Grease Pencil, the main one being Draw Mode, which is a freehand mode where you use the equivalent of a brush to generate strokes in a selected 2D plane. It is the main way this tool is used and it even includes a timeline and onion skinning to fulfill its 2D animation purpose. There is a Sculpt Mode, which is the equivalent of a Liquify tool that allows you to edit your strokes using a brush-like object. You can also edit and even rig 2D cutouts and treat them like 2D puppet animation models in a mode called Weight Paint. In simpler words, Grease Pencil is a 3D software trying its best to blend, pun intended, into the 2D scene while still keeping all the perks and complications that come from being tridimensional in nature. Trust me, we know all about that. Well, what about Krita? Let's start with the interface. It's very clean, flexible, and extremely easy to read. It's one of the few software that comes with a coolerist like color wheel, which you would be surprised as to how big of a difference that can make. It also includes a built-in line stabilizer for the read ridiculous number of brushes that this program includes with its nine separate brush engines, you can realistically replicate any texture under the sun, including particles and special effects. It also supports importing brushes from other programs such as Photoshop. As we have established earlier, it also supports 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation with a dedicated interface and customizable onion skinning. It also supports web design with vector graphics and text that includes pre-made speech bubbles and other helpful assets, and that's only scratching the surface of what this program can do. You can even code with it using Python script. Yeah. To be short, it offers a perfect package for all sorts of 2D visual mediums. It might not be as specialized or as packed as some of its competition, but it's still a very complete and optimized illustration software that can also double into other 2d visual media what about the learning curve the two could not be more different from each other yes they're different in nature but more importantly in how easy they are to use 
Grease Pencil does not only require a completely different workflow but an entirely different mindset. You are still, with all intents and purposes, working in a 3D space with a 3D object, which at points can be startling and will definitely take getting used to. For a single tool, it has a lot of different modes and options that can be played around with, so it's pretty safe to say a learning curve can get pretty steep, even though Blender itself is relatively easy to pick up and is designed with beginners in mind. In its defense, the interface is rather they're simple to understand, but if you have never dabbled into the third dimension before, difficulties are inevitable. On the other side of the spectrum, however, Krita only does one thing, but it does it very well. There isn't much nuance or adaptability other than maybe getting used to the shortcuts, but it's very transparent in what it offers as a program and it makes it extremely easy to both customize it to your liking and find exactly what you are looking for at any given time. All in all, it's very beginner friendly and you can easily achieve professionally quality results with it. So what's there not to like? And now for the part that everybody's been waiting for. There are some common pros who would like to be mentioned that both programs share before dissecting each one individually. So for starters, both of them are very friendly to your wallet. <laughs> both of them are very readily accessible and most importantly, both of them are extremely powerful in their respective field of expertise, making it a no-brainer to pick up either or both of them. There are however some things we'd like you to keep in mind in general before jumping into any kind of conclusion. Before anything else, Grease Pencil is a 3D object and a 3D program. Yes, it can be very helpful in both animation and illustration, but it is going to require quite the investment in regards to both time and effort to learn and get used to it. As for Krita, by virtue of it being open source, it can feel relatively limiting at points. Now that doesn't take away anything from its capabilities, but there are things that other programs do better or Krita is simply unable to achieve. But for what it is worth, you can definitely milk these two software for all they're worth, and the developers themselves offer plenty of resources on how to utilize them to their fullest potential. Not to mention the third-party resources along with YouTube tutorials that go into incredible depth about every facet of each of their respective features. So, you might be asking, who won? Well, we're going to make this very short. As two open source free programs, it is absolutely worth it to pick up both of them. The fact that Krita is extremely easy to use opens up the window to learn the intricacies of a fundamentally different program, and we find it most advantageous for any artist to be able to, in tandem, use both kinds of visual mediums as the efficient marriage of 2D and 3D can be a godsend. That being said, Krita's primary function is 2D illustration, so if that is what you are looking to do, then it goes with saying, focus on Krita. On the other hand, Grease Pencil's primary function is the easy integration of 2D animation into a 3D space, which is evidently a completely separate kind of worms, so if that is what you are looking for. Blender is actually one of the best in the market as evident by the mountains of content created through it, both amateur and professional. You did it! You made it to the end of yet another comparison video. More than most of our comparisons, we are aware of how accessible these two programs are and how dedicated their fan bases are as well, so we would love it if you could leave your input in the comment section below for those of you who are brave enough to delve in that deep. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe while you're down there, might as well make the most out of it. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon with some more quality content. Take care.